Welcome back, everyone. We have a fantastic day ahead of us here in the Minecraft world. And uh, yeah, I've been preparing a few things. As you can see, I made a basement down here for all of those electric blast furnace items, including that ugh, terrible maintenance hatch. I'll hate it. I hate it. It's terrible. Um, kind of been making glass, kind of just been working through some processes, working through some stuff, restocking on steel and, you know, iron and things like that, right? Oh, caps lock. No, thank you. Wrong button. I tell you. All right, there we go. Let's go. Uh, a little bit more wrought iron is good. So yeah, just kind of been working through resources. Now, as you can see, we got some fluid tanks from Ender.io. That's always useful. Um, we, I did set up a brief uh, deep mob learning simulation chamber for a zombie. And we're working on 795 iterations right now with a 20% pristine chance. And hopefully, I think we're going to hit the next tier or final tier here right away. Sugar cane's going great. It's actually voiding at this point in time. So, yeah, that's still just chugging along. Um, I did build a centrifuge as I was getting this pitch blend uh, with my uranite down in the area. And your uraninite, I'm still getting some more, which is good, right? Little details. Um, what else? Oh, uh, I made a basic chemical reactor. So to make nether rack, you add lava with dust, right? We have dust over there. That's what I use the fluid tanks for to go and get some nether rack, okay? This all leads us into a lot of different details and a lot of things, okay? Um, obviously, we're now getting uh, overlandian matter which means we can get hellish matter and extraterrestrial matter. Now, the extraterrestrial is definitely one of interest. Did we get there? We did, self-aware, beautiful, excellent. Uh, that is perfect, we made it. Um, so that gets us into the different matter choices. So, uh, let's take a look. Obviously, you can make a lot of different things. And we need to get to Energetic Alloy to uh, unlock the Loot Fabricator. Also, we can now get to the Nether, which is a nice little feature. But this is what I'm primarily focused on, this section up here. And the reason being is, this is huge. Uh, this gets you to the point, this setup right here, the chemical reactor, the resonant catheterate, the Loot Fab, and the numistic power this is our life for the next foreseeable future when it comes to power and generation of resources so it's a huge huge priority uh progression oh blast furnace fun oh yeah okay so let's go into the beginning i built everything for the blast furnace so let's collect our 100 our nomi dollar like so let's get that done uh i also made a charger good and an energy acceptor excellent i think that will clear up that as well i need inscription plates meteorite hunter meteorite hunter requires reconstruction of atoms that's fine doesn't it's somewhere else i don't know where though um I'm assuming the meteorite something requires something. If I were to guess. Uh, meteor. What does this require? Oh, the void crystals. That'll do it. It's the atomic reconstructor quest. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we could probably... We just need MV. We're not too far off from that. Uh, anyways, so the electric blast furnace, let's get to that. The nice thing is you hit you, it shows you again every step along the way how to build it. You can also turn it, all that kind of stuff. And it just so happens I've already built it. Uh, so I have it built back here. You can see that uh, we have our muffler hatch in the top. 
We have our copro copro nickel copro nickels. I got the maintenance hatch. We have two LV energy back there, and boom! Once you connect that up, the structure is formed. Now it says it needs maintenance. Okay, what does that mean? Well, these machines are. Uh, what's the best way to explain this? A little annoying. <laughs> All right, let's uh, just grab a couple of tools here. Uh, probably need that and the crowbar, if I'm guessing. Typically, you need to pretty much, you build it, and then you have to maintain it. The other thing with these structures that you have to always keep in consideration is you never want to go across a chunk border. So as you see here, I'm on the chunk border, but I'm not through the middle of the machine right? You do not want to go through the middle of the machine because Greg Tech does not like that. These multi-block structures going through a trunk border, which is done through F9, uh, is not a good idea, okay? So, sound muffling enabled, good. Uh, let's go into here. Let's go insert tape to prevent problems. Click slot with empty hand when required tools or inventory to solve problems. Click slot with empty hand when required tools are in inventory to solve problems. Needs maintenance. Uh, pipe is loose. We need the wrench and the wire cutter. Okay, we have both of those. All right, so I think you just kind of do this and we're good. Needs maintenance. Pipe is loose, wrench. Okay. So we go in here, and do we just do this? Is this it? I can never remember. Yeah, there we go. We're, maintenance is fine. We fixed our machine. We just built it, but we just fixed it at the same time. All right. So this is an MV level of machine. So all things considered, we have two LV energy hatches to make up for that. It's not going to be perfect. I also have two inputs of 512, and I've only connected up two steam dynamos, but I'm thinking we'll probably need another set here as well to output to this. I made this on a separate system as well from our normal system. I think this is a very important key as well is I'm a big fan of setting up smaller power systems for each machine. Uh, if possible, to make sure that we don't run into any problems or less problems potentially with different items, okay? So keep that in mind when you go to make your system, especially early on, you just have a little bit more control, okay? That's that's about all. That's, that's all I really have to say about that, all right? That's it, that's it, that's all, all right? No. Um, okay, let's put away all of this stuff again. So that we don't forget where it is and we have the system right well what was the next goal energetic right i think we were going to go for some energetic alloy and some aluminium so both of those are an easy option for our next steps so let's jump into the beginning energetic alloy Energetic alloy is two gold dust, one redstone, one glowstone. Ooh, glowstone. How do we get glowstone dust? That is a great question. So, in the blast furnace, we need the energetic alloy dust, which is in a mixer, which we have a mixer. Gold dust, we can get. Glowstone dust, though. Obviously, there's loot fabricators, but we don't really have that at the moment. Um, well, you know what we could do? We could just go to the nether. Right? We could just go to the nether. Maybe we just go to the nether. We just unlocked it. Let's make ourselves a nether cake. So this one here, grinding up some nether rack. And the soul sand you can make with a hellish matter and red sand or, you know, other things. Um, but yeah, let's make ourselves the nether cake. And we'll just put it down here for now. Perfect. And uh, this will 
Trying to sort of change the game a little bit. Simulating, let's go. Good. What is this quest? Oh, that requires something else. We'll ignore it for now. Um, yeah, I think we just go to the nether and see what we get. I should probably take some blocks, though. Never fails. I'll end up spawning on, like, a platform. I don't remember anything about this. Okay. Well, this is very nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. We literally got the item that we needed right here. Look at this. This is great. Don't even have to worry about it. Problem solved. We're done here. <laughs> All right. Very good. We also have a whole bunch of nether quartz ore. Uh, things like that in here. And there is a lot of other... Uh, I don't care about that stuff. There is a lot of other resources in the nether that can be very, very beneficial. Now, how do we get back? Thank God we set up a home, right? So make sure that you have a way to get back, either through an overworld cake. Now remember, if you do get stuck, right? You can come in here and you can collect an overworld cake, all right? So you're not stuck in here. You're good to go. Uh, no concerns. Don't worry about it that much, all right? Now, this stuff, though, now we have access to kind of get nether rack whenever we want, right? Which is kind of cool. Uh, this nether quartz ore as well. Uh, this is good stuff. I can actually bolster our quartz quite nicely in our system because that's been taking up a lot of our glass resource at the moment. Um, so getting a little bit of this. Ooh, wee. That's dangerous. Love it. Love it. Go nether. Let's go. Right? All right. Let's get a little bit of this. Let's get some nether rack because we, we need it. We want it. Um, and then we'll kind of see if we have a way out of the nether or not out of the nether. We can obviously get out of the nether, but if we have a way to kind of at least get out of this little area of the nether that we're kind of sort of stuck in, uh, it looks like. So let's follow this path. This looks like it's going down. Lava is usually down, so we'll see. Um, it won't matter where we explore to, as we will just be using home to get back. Yeah, no, we are... I think we're fully, like, in a little cave system here in the nether. Uh, not the worst thing. It's pretty good. Do I hear Blaze? I do hear Blaze. Is that what I think it is right there? There's something like right there, isn't there? Is it like up here, maybe? What do we get here? There's something on the map back over here. Okay, let's go take a look at this. Uh, like I said, I hear a blaze and being and killing a blaze would not be the worst thing to ever happen to me. Um, hell region. Yeah, looks like... Let's see. Where are we at here? Trying to find one of the best ways. So that's down here. Let's go back up and see if we can't find this uh, little blaze set up here. Yeah, no, we're too far this way now. Over here? That looks pretty good. Okay, let's try to just kind of... I don't know if it's on this level. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Uh, okay. All right. Um, that is extremely lucky. You guys have no idea how lucky this truly is. Um, we got a fortress right here. Now, a lot of this stuff's not complicated by any means uh, to get, but yeah. We're going to use, we're going to get some of it for sure uh, as we go here. Okay, settle down there, baby boy. 
Uh, we got definitely here the blaze. There it is right there. Like those moves. Nice. Let's go. Get rid of that guy. Um, loot? Any loot? Not looking like it. Not at the moment, anyways. Uh, nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Down here is the staircase. I hear him. I hear also that. I hear also that. They gotta be there. Yeah. Hi. Hello. How's it going, friend? Oh, boy. Woo. Dangerous. Hi. Hi, friend. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. We'll put up some of our barriers here, because as soon as you're talking wither skeletons, it becomes a little bit more sketchy. My new blazer, nothing to be, nothing to be shy about either. All right. Anyways, I think we got. Uh, I'm not gonna say we got everything we need. Don't don't get me wrong. That's ridiculous. Um, as we're in Noma Factory, but we got some stuff, anyways, right? We got some stuff. We got some Nether Wart. We got some Soul Sand. We got some Nether Brick. This is a fantastic little find to say the least so yeah i'm very happy about this let's just uh add a waypoint uh new and we'll say fortress of nether there we go and make it beautiful red why not okay good uh i'm very happy with that we got our glowstone that's the main thing we needed and let's head on home Pretty straightforward, so. Man, those blades shoot through you through blocks, eh? That's not very kind of them. All right. So now that we have all of this nether rack, right? We can actually go a little bit more crazy. Is that not what it is? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is it not? Oh, no, it's the four around the, the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backwards. Backwards. Same thing, but backwards. <laughs> it's still only going to be 16. All right. So, yeah, we can make that a little bit easier now, which is nice. Obviously, we got some nether brick, but the main thing that we were after was the glowstone. I think getting some of the other stuff was just a bonus. So, where were we at? Energetic alloy. Let's go. We need redstone gold. That's right. I remember. All right. We're going to save a little bit of this. Uh, like nine worth and we need to grind up a whole stack of gold um the best way to do it oh man the sugar cane just gets everywhere the best way to do it might actually be with the mortar it might be the fastest to do this and i don't it's definitely the fastest but is it the best uh, it might be, I don't think we get like an extra one. I'm just double checking here, uh, on how to get dust. And I think it's the same either way. So macerator gets you one and it takes 10 seconds. That's crazy. Extruder, wire mill, lathe, metal bender, chemical reactor. Yeah. It looks like this is the best way to get gold dust. It's instant. You use some durability of a tool, but it, not a big deal. Okay. Boom. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> ah, nailed it. Nailed it. All right. Uh, I really have to, like... I should probably get some tools and stuff for us to actually, you know, hold on to a little bit here. You are not working. Why? Because of that. All right. We got ourselves some energetic alloy. So let's head on over to this next step. Electric blast furnace. We need a program circuit of one. Okay. So in the input, we need one. And 
let's just get four. I want to see how our power situation goes here. I think we drain out really, really fast. And I'm not sure. 120 EU per tick, which is maybe what we produce. I don't know. It always goes down to half. As your uh, as it depletes, your power increases. So I just want to make sure that should get us the quest. Indeed, it does. That's great. Um, but I'm kind of just monitoring the power. I might need more of those steam dynamos. So we'll see um, as we go. But isn't it beautiful? It lights up and everything. I love it. I think it looks great. So yeah. There is some energetic alloy. Not not overworld cake. Uh, back to the beginning. Energetic alloy. Flame. Let's go. So the next step from here is uh, things like vibrant alloy, energetic alloy energy, um, auxiliary transmission coils, uh, things like that. But I should also get some aluminium right away. But in the simulation, as you can see, we need the first tier two circuit and we can get the vibrant alloy as we see here. So vibrant alloy is, uh, let's see, it is vibrant alloy dust, which is energetic alloy dust with ender pearl dust. Now ender pearl dust is basically, I think a macerated ender pearl. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So let's work, let's get that guy going as well. Might as well, um, while we're here. One ender pearl, nice. We are just lighting the lamp on resources. We're gonna macerate that. We're gonna get our ender pearl dust. And, ooh, look at all that. That is juicy, I love it. Uh, let's just do this quickly. Let's do this quickly. Oh man, so much, so much stuff. And we gotta put away some of this stuff too. Uh, soul sand, very good. Uh, these are like drops in farming. We'll put those in there. We got this coin on us, get out of our inventory. And then we got the quartz ore, uh, boom, like so. And then we have quartzite ore as well. Okay, so much to do, so little time. So much to do, so little time. All right, let's get ourselves, we're almost there. We made a lot of energetic alloy, but that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. Let's see, are we still good? Warning, machine needs more energy. We are not good. Okay, that is good to know. And that means we are a little bit stuck on that, if I recall. Uh, let's see. I know, it's a little annoying being back here, but I did this on purpose. Yeah, so there's an energetic alloy dust, and it's stuck in the system that we need to get it out, okay? So, yeah, we need to figure that out ASAP. Okay, so one of you and one of you, that will get us the vibrant alloy, which is good. Um, but we need to address our power situation first. So while I work to uh, get a couple of more steam dynamos, I think I'm just going to do a quick little bypass here as well, uh, just to get a little bit more juice, if you guys know what I mean. So uh, let's just go over like this and like this. We have the capabilities of supplying it with more power. So I'm hoping, yeah, that should hopefully get us enough juice here temporarily, at least to process through the items that we needed to. We'll let those build up again for a quick second, and then we will process our vibrant alloy dust, right? Okay, so boom, we'll put that guy in. God, I hope it was the same setting. Well, if not, rip. <laughs> if not, rip. All right, uh, we are working on a couple of other things, though. I need some red alloy. I've been, I made all this nether quartz, and we did max out our barrel here. So as this regens and, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, as we get 
another load of glass in here, we're going to now backlog up our system, which is great. I'm really excited to get that. That nether quartz took a while to backlog, um, but now that we're at that stage, it's going to be very beneficial. All right, that's enough. We need 15. Whichever one gets there faster. There we go. Bending machine. Let's do this. And yeah, doing very good. Doing very, very good. All right, let's go grab our uh, vibrant alloy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, vibrant alloy quest complete. Let's get another five dollar reduce. And next is the numistic, numismatic dynamo. Okay. This is a big one, right? You lapidary it as well. And with the lapidary, basically you get power from gems is ultimately how it works. Now, emeralds give you 200, you know, topaz, etc. But the big one here is diamonds. Diamonds gives you 1.2 million, right? Um, you can do flux crystals, but it's not worth it, right? But diamonds are actually very easy to get in this pack. Once you get there, you can get a loot fabricator with a shulker, which again, not that complicated, but you need a loot fabricator to produce the item, right? We need this loot fabricator, right? We also need this shulker data model. So we need a diamond and we need seven extraterrestrial matter. This is huge, ladies and gents. This is the next step that we need, okay? So we need to work on this ASAP, right? This is the game-changing step. There we go. We have our seven extraterrestrial. Wow, that worked out really well, actually. I'm surprised. We have a blank data module. And we have a diamond. Beautiful. So with this, with the diamond... And with these extraterrestrials, we can get ourselves our Shulker data module. That is awesome. Now, our power is about to go to crap. <laughs> to be as blunt as possible. As you can see, this costs 512 RF per tick. This one's only 64. So we're going to remove the zombie one. And we're going to start to produce the Shulker. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Look at all this pristine zombie matter. That's great. Now, this is not an easy task by any means, and we'll see how far we even are actually able to get with this idea and setup, because it is a little bit that crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you can go in there, that's fine. All right, so we have our zombie data model. I'll put that in there, we can, just keep it going. We should be getting our red alloy plates. Very good. And now we can make our steam dynamos. One, two, three. Beautiful. And there. One, two, three. Excellent. So we got more steam dynamos. That's great. But we do need to also get these augmentations. And they are a bit of a pain. So, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go a little bit more ham than what I've been doing with these things. Uh, then that way we can kind of cover our basis. We got our fused quartz. That's good. Um, and let's get this guy. Let's see how bad this is on our power. We do have a lot of RF in here, but I'm guessing this is really bad for our power. It takes about... How long? 20 seconds? Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that fluctuate ever. So we'll see how far we can actually go here. Um, we'll wait for that to finish up. We will... I need more ender pearls, don't I? Let's see. Ender pearls, I think, are diamonds. Because to get all of this stuff, we need the vibrant alloy. And vibrant alloy, we need the ender pearl dust macerated which is an ender pearl, which we don't have a ton of, to say the least. Um, how was I making it again? Right here. Pulsating with a diamond. Okay. We are kind of lacking in diamonds, 
as well. So that's that's valid. Um, yeah, not ideal. We're maintaining some power here. That's good to see. Uh, that's really good to see, actually. So, boom, we can remove that. We can get our iron gears going now. Now that we've got enough fuse quartz to last us a good long while. And for now, we seem to be holding in. Five of 50. If we can get 50 out of this, I'm going to be extremely, extremely happy with our current power setup. So... That's going to be good. It also is going to give us some more of the extraterrestrial matter, which will matter quite a bit. Uh, we have 16 diamonds. I think let's try to make eight more ender pearls. Did I use... Oh, no, there it is. I uh, got a little concerned there. Eight. Uh, not you pulsating. Okay. And then we alloy smelt these as well. So much to do. So little time. I might even have to go get some more diamonds off screen. Right, so I just made some aluminium. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy for that, just in the blast furnace. I did complete the uh, steam dynamo setup, so now I've doubled my output uh, overall. I guess I've kept them connected together. I figured, whatever. You know, if we need a little bit extra power here or there for right now, that would be perfectly fine. So we kept all that together. We did just get our aluminum. Let's jump over to that, like so. Excellent. And that unlocks the MV machine hulls. Now, MV machine hulls, I think, are the, basically the same as the other, except it's using aluminum, aluminium, uh, instead of whatever and then also copper cable oh yes i remember our copper requirements are about to go through the roof <laughs> to say the least all right let's get that at least started up uh here and this is going to be a good step now i'm debating buying these items to progress because for us to get um this lapidary we need a diamond plate. Now, a diamond plate, we need to get a cutting saw. And a basing cutting saw requires a cobalt brass buzz saw blade. So I'm debating just buying it, but we'll see. I haven't officially decided as of just yet. Okay. Um, let's do that. Oh, this needs to be plates. Those need to be plates. And I, I actually, I need another one. So. Let's do up another eight of those into there. Let's get at least one more going of that. Okay, make me some plates. That's good. We got that there. Excellent, excellent. Uh, do we have our output yet? No, another few seconds. No big deal. Okay, so we got some copper wire. We got eight aluminum plates. Make it nine, which is actually what we need. Let's do that. Oh man, they, they form so quickly. I mean, it's aluminium, so it shouldn't be that complicated, right? As my phone is buzzing like a crazy person. All right, okay, good. We'll throw that in there. And now that we're at this stage, yeah, I think we can do this along with this here, good. Is that not... Why is that not showing up? Okay, boom. Settle down. Seriously. Seriously. That's not how we make copper wires. How do we make them? How do we make them? I'm assuming... Hmm. Let's see. Machine hull. Oh, they got to be made in the assembler. Okay. So we need rubber with that. Okay. That's fine. No big deal. We have 32. We have 32. We have this set up here, so we can extract all of that into there, and this can make our copper wires. No problema whatsoever. Let's go. This is working phenomenal. We're already at advanced. This is great. Everything's working well there. Uh, let's get some of our copper cabling, and let's put it in here. And that in there, and that in there. 
And then from there, we should... We'll lock that in place. Uh, let's jump down here. Cancel that. Uh, I guess we'll do it here. Might as well, right? Machine hull. Get. Make sure we got it. Beautiful. Uh, machine hull. Muffler hatch. Excellent. Okay. MV machine hull. Get. That's a quarter. Awesome. That opens up a lot of things now, right? Right? It's got to. It's got to. Well, I think it does in the early game. No, change nothing. <laughs> no. MV assembling machine is a big one. MV chemical bath. MV energy converter. That's the one that it unlocked, basically. Now, one of the things that we need is right here. Okay? So we need diodes, which is right here which requires gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide is we need to electrolyze sphalerite for a low chance of small dust. Note that you lose on direct smelting value. That sucks. Uh, from worst to best. Okay. Crushed bauxite in the chemical bath. Note that this requires sodium persulfate. Obtain it as a byproduct of salarite ore processing in the thermal centrifuge or centrifuge. Oh boy. For arsenic, you must centrifuge real railguard dust and more involvedly flash smeltite, smelt cobaltite dust in the EBF. Flash smelt. I don't even know what that means. And electrolyze the resultant arsenic trioxide. Flash smelt. What does that even mean? Okay. So arsenic trioxide is this. Oh, it's oxygen with cobaltite. Gets you... Cobalt oxide dust and arsenic trioxide dust. Cobalt oxide dust can get us back to cobalt dust in an electrolyzer. And then the arsenic trioxide, five of them, is going to give us two arsenic. Whew. I think real gar is a little bit easier <laughs> to process than what they just claimed. Just calling it a hunch. Even though I think we smelt that into that and then we macerate it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have some real gar. Real gar. Real. We got lots of it. Okay. Let's do this with this like so let's do that and yeah then we'll just like macerate this oh boy we are getting into the more complicated stuff here are we not i think so i think that is the perfect definition of more complicated what i just went through so we got a problem right we got a few problems to say the least i am basically out of diamonds we got our mv machine hull which is good that does open us more into the early game um we need to get to those circuits i think that's our next step here because we really need to get ourselves the loot fabricator right there and that's the first tier two circuit being required. So I think that's going to be our focus is to get to this point right here where we need diodes and we need good circuit boards. Those two together. So we need that pyro lease oven. We need sodium persulfate and iron three chloroxide. Okay. Maybe that's not a bad way to go either. It did say... The sodium persulfate. What does the sodium persulfate require? Sodium bisulfate. 
which is in a chemical reactor, salt and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is probably in probably in a chemical reactor. And it's water and sulfur trioxide or oxygen and hydrogen. Is that the cheapest way? Yeah. Okay, so you're looking at water and sulfur trioxide, and sulfur trioxide is oxygen and sulfur dioxide, which is sulfur and oxygen. Are you following me, or did I lose you? I probably lost you, right? Um, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm not going to lie. That is a lot. Um, I need to take a break. <laughs> to put it bluntly, it is time to take a break. Uh, we need to take a quick little break session. Because all things considered, this makes perfect sense. I just need to piece it together. Okay, so what I need to do is we need to keep processing stuff. I'm going to get more uh, aluminium, uh, things like that, right? I've kind of been doing, I'm testing our metal to see how many we can do at a time before we tap out our power. Um, but yeah, we, it seems like we have a lot to do to get to where we want to go. So I think I'm going to have to go mine some diamonds. I think I'm going to have to... Get for more prepared for what's to come. So I think this is where we're going to leave it. And uh, we will connect again next time. So bye-bye for now. See ya.